welcome to this week's episode of Workshop Wednesday. So we're continuing on with the wildlife wall. I'm going to try and do utilise some of the space higher up the wall. I've got some sort of small fence, uh, some fencing edge in, uh, sort of half logs. If you know what I mean? Well, you'll see in a minute. So I'm going to try and do something with those. Either build a sort of framework for something, or actually try and make something out of them. So let's go have a little bit of a play around and I'll see you in a minute. So what I want to do is actually try and utilise some of this space up here. So I'm just remove this log and then I've got some of this small sort of edging which I find in the garden so it's here when we moved in so I'm going to try and use it somehow. Right, let's have a go. that done. So the theory behind this is hopefully it should encourage various moth species into the garden and give them something to hide in or well, hide behind during the day. So these are slightly off of the wall so I've got there's a gap. So it should be perfect habitat for moths and other insects will just take refuge through throughout the day away from predators and then sort of emerges on an evening. You might even be able to fit a few small species of bat. His fingers crossed, I doubt it, but there is that option there that I can also put more wood on top of this, more sort of bring it out further as well. So, still ongoing this section, but at the moment it is a perfect habitat for moths, and then I can do various add ons for other species of wildlife, whether it be insects or mammals. There you go, that's it for today. The sun is actually setting. So I'm going to go in. So there you go. That's it for this week. And I will see you on Saturday for what's new in the garden. Toodle pip.